Hey, this will be a video chart on VDSC, and we will take a look at the daily time frame. Do not believe this one has ever been done before, but I had a bunch of people ask me to check it out today, and um, rightfully so, absolutely monster, uh, monster of a day, and really did a good job of acting like you would want to see a stock act. And what I mean by that is you can see made this upwards move here, consolidated but maintained above its moving averages. I know that's not the most exciting part, but really goes to show that no, you know, no price can go straight up all the time forever. It needs to consolidate, needs to build a higher base, and that's what happened here. And then you can see today was the reward for those that were patient and big volume and nice price reaction. And uh, it really just crushed it today, obviously. And I know I'm stating the obvious when I said that, but, uh, you know, a great example of a breakout after consolidation. So what I want to do is just map out some supports and resistance levels here and that way everybody's got an idea of what's going on from the technical perspective. So let's first start off with some support levels. The first support actually I'm going to get from all the way back here. Or is, wait, is that still a resistance? Maybe I, uh, this is what happens when I don't check things out before I start. Let's see, this low over here was at 008 and the close was at 008. So actually this is technically still a level of resistance. So again, sorry about that. That's what I get for not double checking these things but before I start now the reason I'm picking these is that when you go back here this you can see was an area of support and when the price falls below supports they become resistant so not really surprising to see that 008 is a level of resistance I know the price did break above it intraday but because we're looking at the daily chart we care about where the close was so the close was right at it and technically if 008 was on the bid side uh, then it'll have obviously no problem breaking it tomorrow because all you'll need is an ass slap and it'll be right back above this level so um, but right now 008 and I'm definitely leaving that line skinny because uh, it basically closed right at it so jumping back to the supports though now, next level of support uh, to keep an eye on will be right here and that's just simply this previous high. And that level is valued at 0054. So 0054 will be an area of support. And then really the, the level that I would call kind of the crucial and must hold level, let's try that again, comes from right here that's these previous highs of 0035. So I'll make this line extra thick because it does represent a, a pretty important level of support. And the reason for that is just simply, you can see here, price history acted as a resistance, acted as a resistance. And then when the price did get above it, you can see how the price hovered right around it as a support. So that's the level you want to continue to see. And given that it closed way up here, you know, hopefully it doesn't even come back down there and back test it, but that'll be the more important level of support. In terms of resistance, we actually already touched on this even if accidentally, but after this 008, the next level of resistance is going to be from right here. You can see those two points give us some data, and that's probably going to be right at a penny. Uh, so yeah, right at a penny, both technically and not a surprise there just because penny is always the psychological level of resistance anyways. So 008 and a penny are the next two levels of resistance, and if you get some closes up above here, I'm sure I'll be back to, to update things as need be. But Currently, this is where the chart stands, but overall, great looking chart from the, the broad picture and, you know, nice to see it acting just like you would want to see it. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter, which you can do up there. And as you see, when you do sign up, you'll get a free ebook. And also, if you found this video helpful and interesting and want to learn more about charts, I'd encourage you to check out our video course down there, over eight and a half hours of education and information. It's been getting good third-party reviews, so I'd encourage you to check that out if you want to add trading to your uh, tool belt. So... One more time, this is FDSC. Thanks for listening and have a good one.